Lefty chops at this pitch down the left field line. That is a fair ball. Richie Martin rounds third. He'll score with ease. Mark Laird trotting into second base. He's got a double tie more. Down to pick that ball up. And Mark Laird with the RBI double make it 1-1 here in board. 2-1 ball game. This pitch shot out into right field for a base hit. Hampson coming in to score. Cray rounds third. The throw in from Laird will go to third base. And the Braves are unable to make the play on Ty Moore. So a two-run single from the big cleanup hitter, Chris Shaw. We have a 4-1 ball game in the top of the second. Runners on second and third. Morales fires home. Shot into right field for a base hit. Hampson comes in to score. Simmons follows closely. And it's a 7-1 ball game. First and third, the pitch. Swinging a bouncer through the right side. In for a base hit. Lasseter trots on home. And the Chatham Anglers keep on rolling. It's 8-1 over the Bourne Braves. Lines the 1-1 pitch. Swinging a broken bat. Nubba right back up the box. Simmons, bare hand stab. Fires on to first. And he gets Davey. What a play from Simmons. Avoiding the broken bat. Two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Ren over at first, no one holding. Sullivan over at third, same story. The payoff pitch, Howard lines this one out to the shortstop. Hampson on to second for one, back to first. In time to get the double play, the throw home. He's safe. So Brett Sullivan slides in safely just to avoid the triple play. Would have been a sign of the times here tonight at Doran Park. Whiting chops at this pitch, out into left field. And that's left fielder Ty Moore tracking it down. So there go the Moore and Braves. And that's your final, 13 to three. Chatham takes this one. They move their record to seven, six and one on the season. Bourne falls to 10 and four, still holding on to first place in the West.